Hello everyone, welcome to our new video. Today we are going to discuss the current charging and discharging requirement for a low voltage battery and a high voltage battery. And after the discussion, we are going to discuss 12 points why high voltage battery are better when it comes to high demand. In this table, we are using a three-phase system. The first system is 6.93 kilowatt, which is equivalent almost to 10 ampere per phase. The second system is 13.86 kilowatt, which almost equate to around 20 ampere per phase. And the third system, 20.78 kilowatt, which equates to 30 ampere per phase, three-phase system. What we've done is, we've done the type of batteries, we used low voltage batteries, 51.2 volt, and we used 560 volt as a high voltage batteries. To supply the 6.93 kilowatt on a low voltage batteries, we need 130, 135 ampere to be discharged, while on a 560 we need a 12.37 ampere to be charged. For the 20 kilowatt load, we need 405 or 406 ampere for the low voltage battery and 37, only 37 ampere for the high voltage batteries. Now, the battery, if I need the battery to support lo the load for 10 hours, I need the low voltage battery for the 20 kilowatt load to have 5,074 ampere hour capacity or design capacity, while the 560, the high voltage battery, requires only 463.94 amp hour. You can see the big difference. Now, if I'm using solar system to charge my energy storage, I'm going to assume that I have six hours of full sun. In order for me to charge my battery storage to support the 20 kilowatt, I need to offer, I need to supply 845.73 amps every hour for six hours. For the low voltage battery, while for the high voltage battery, all I need is a 77.32 ampere every hour for six hours. What does this mean to me? For the low voltage battery, I want you to focus on the number of inverters required to be connected in parallel. How many, how many inverters do you need? Because for you to supply 845, Ampere. Of course, the inverter, let's say the inverters had the capacity to, to provide 200 ampere or 150 ampere. The inverter during the day, it will be supplying the load as well from the sun. So part of this inverter capacity will go toward the load during the day, and you need to have sufficient surplus to charge your batteries, which means I need higher number of inverters. So if I'm going to dedicate the entire 200 amp of the inverter to charge. I need five inverters. If I'm going to dedicate only 100 amp, I need 10 inverters to be connected in parallel. Also, for the energy storage, I need 17 batteries of 15 kilowatt hour, which equates to 272 cells of 3.2 volt, 300 amp hour lithium iron, iron phosphate, LIFPO. If you have a 20 kilowatt load now for three phase, for the high voltage batteries, all you need now is 77 amp ampere, which you need single inverter you can deal with a single inverter instead of five or ten inverters. You need 
a set BMU, two master BMS, and stackable BMS with 350 cell of 3.2 volt, 235 amp hours. Now, from this slide, we are going to discuss a 12, 12 reasons why high voltage is better, is better than a low voltage when it comes to high power demand. Number one, as we discussed, you need a lower number of protection on the DC and AC side due to the lower number of inverters, especially when it comes to high power applications, lower discharge current for high power applications. Of course, as we, as we saw before, we need we have a way reduced way reduced number of uh, current when it comes to high voltage battery then low voltage lower charging current we saw before we need a 77 ampere for six hours to charge on a high voltage battery however we need more than 800 ampere on the low voltage side for eight hours lower maintenance requirement because we reduced the number of inverters we reduced the number of batteries so you have a lower maintenance requirement smaller cable sizing of course because we reduced the number of uh, current that we reduced the current requirement during discharge and a charging period smaller area for installations instead of installing five or ten inverters you're going to install one inverters and if you go look commercially you will find that the size of one inverters it's way even if you want to get 50 kilowatt, 100 kilowatt, it's way smaller in size than getting 10 inverters, for example, of 12 kilowatt on a low voltage size. Wide range of a DC voltage. When it comes to high voltage batteries, most inverters are designed to work between 300 to 800 volt, while the low voltage battery, if you're looking at a 48 volt low voltage battery, it can work between maybe uh 46 volt or 42 volt all the way down to 58 volt so the range is too small comparison to high voltage batteries so the high voltage battery will have wider range of uh, dc voltages which allow us to have a wider range of applications uh, from hospitals to school to universities to uh, industry higher sustainability rate of course you're going to have a way higher sustainability rate because you have a lower risk of a failure and of course you're going to have a higher efficiency uh, rate because you're using one inverter so if you, instead of using five or ten inverters each inverter has an efficiency so when you do the total efficiency is going to be reduced and uh, you're going to have one bms instead of having 17 bms and each bms of course has a uh, error or efficiency and also you're going to have a reliability because you have a one system instead of having uh, five or ten inverters uh, the risk of having parallel failure of course is going to be high when you connect five or ten uh, when you connect 17 batteries in parallel the bms or the battery management system for the low voltage it also going to uh, reduce your reliability of the system and these are the 12 reasons that tip the scale toward the high voltage batteries. I hope you find this uh, video useful and thank you for listening. We'll see you next time.